welcome back to my site. Today is a special day, special for me, because on this week, VMware released the new version 6.4 of the NSX. With this release, uh, VMware released a new feature, uh, which is GR Tunnel. And in particular, I'm waiting almost 20 years for this. With this new capability, I'll be able to do more advanced configurations as uh, dynamic routing over uh, GR tunnels, and I'm gonna make more easy uh, the implementations in cloud and even with the customers which has more complicated network environment. And today we cannot do this on graphic interfaces only by API call. Let's see uh, on the next steps how we're gonna do that. So I just opened the web client. I go in NSX in Edge and I can see the edge that I just created, the service gateway GRE. You can open. You can see in settings, interface, you cannot see nothing related how configured GRL tunnels. I try everything. I try uh, go type in internal trunk. There's you see can there's no GRL interface here. I try everything, even trunk, sub-interfaces, not available. Even in advanced services, the new tab there is disabled. Uh, I'm not sure what is a VMware going to do. So initially, my first impression is there's no way to configure your tunnels on the graph interface. Okay? But if you go on API, uh, I went to a regular get where I listed all my edges available. So in my case, I have two two edges, edge one and edge two. Which edge edge two is the GRE one. So I need to figure it out. What's the idea? So ID one here is my another one, and edge dash two is the desired one, which is I created for this specifically function. So I just go, come back on the API call. I just come back here, up there, on the API call, uh, slash add dash two. And slash again, tunnels. I'm gonna do a, a, a get. And then I'm gonna say send, I'm gonna process. Mm -hmm. Normally it came uh, empty, but since I created for this lab a few minutes ago, you're gonna see the results here. I'm gonna sometimes take a little bit. Here's the box. Let's go there in the response. Here is the configuration. And for configuration, you do a post. And here is the post configuration and basically the the extruder is very simple which is uh, is very simple I'm gonna put the on my on my website you can copy and paste to make me are easy and following the 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 uh, RFC is basically a local address with the uh, edge address my destination to is my remote layer tree can be Fido router or even uh, switch action layer tree through. I get a name, a description. I define it as a GR tunnel. I get a, a, a M2 interface. So I want to probably see in the future if the VMware are going to support a different M2, lower or uh, higher. Probably lower are going to support, higher are going to be. And C. I'm defining here the the tunnel network, which normally is a trans VLAN, so I, I choose a very small subnet. And I also I mean, I the, uh, enable the health check with these two. I'm going to send 
I need to set a post, and I'm gonna configure that. And I'm gonna configure everything inside of my app. And if I change again to get and send, you're gonna there on my edge inside of tunnels, you're gonna see that the tunnel one is created with all of the parameters that are defined on the post call. Take a little bit. And I can ask to myself, after configuring this through the API, some things are gonna appear in my graphic interface? No. You, you can see there, there's no reference to GRTunio on the graphic interface, okay? And then you can ask myself, uh, yourself, how can I monitor and check the status tunnel uh, on, the, uh, on the way? The only way to do that is inside of the console. You can do show configuration GRT, GRE typo here, sorry guys, and GRE. And voila, here's all your configuration uh, with the Tony address. Uh, you can see also the label, uh, source address, destination address. And this label is very important. Like, you know, GRE is dash one. Everything is exactly what I posted on the API. But now look how interesting I can see the show interface GRA1, where I can see the IP address which is configured. I can ping this interface, I can ping my remote peer. And since this is an interface, I am able to to the bug mode and, and, and see the package that is passing through this uh, uh, tunnel. And after this procedure, I can use this GRA tunnel in basically two ways, using BGP or static route. On this case, I'm doing BGP here. You can see here, remote peer 172.20.10.1, which is my remote peer. I define it a, a normal eBGP different AS, like 500.10, my local, and my remote 6.5.0.0.1. Local and, and remote, different IAS as eBGP, and started announcing. And let's let's show how uh, the ads is announcing the BGP. I get another device, very simple. Show IP BGP. You see, here's an announcement that is coming for my edge, which have the IP 172.20.10.2. Show IP route, you're gonna see all my routes that's coming from B, BGP. If I come back to my edge and you open even a SSH or, or even a remote console, show IP route, you see the first line BGP is receiving from my another device, uh, which came from 172.20.10.1, my remote uh, subnet, which is 980.227. You can see. Is I be able to ping a VXLAN, ping a traditional VLAN, and that's it. It's a very simple video, and I want to say thank you everybody to see this video and see you the next one. Bye bye.